Okay, today we're going to go through uh, the installation of a custom theme on the OpenCart e-commerce platform. Uh, the default theme, as you can see from the demonstration at the OpenCart website, it's a very nice theme. It's just probably not suited for a lot of shops and a lot of products that want to be sold. So this is where we need to uh, pick up a custom theme and uh, this tutorial will sort of go through and how to install it. Uh, our recommendation for themes is the open cart market a uh, large selection of themes uh, demos available uh, good prices okay so once you've picked up your custom theme just close these windows we need to uh, upload the theme and uh, there's two ways you can do it you can do it through your cPanel uh, login which comes with most hosting packages uh, but I think the preferential way to do it is via an FTP uh, client and the, the client that I like to look at is uh, FileZilla FileZilla is completely free, full featured and will do everything we need so you just need to go to the FileZilla website, click on download choose your platform Okay, we've already got FileZilla filed up, uh, loaded up. Now this uh, this is how you connect to your server uh, using FileZilla. You'll need the host name, which is generally the same as your domain name with FTP appended to the front of it. So uh, if your store was mystore.com, it would be FTP mystore.com. Your hosting provider should provide you with the username and password. It should be the same as your cPanel login. Once you've got that information, you hit quick connect and you'll be logged in. We've already logged in. With FileZilla, you have on the right hand side, this area here, you have the remote location, the server. On the left hand side, you have your local files. As you can see on the left already, we've got two themes. Pro Shop theme, the Flower Power theme. We've already unzipped them, so we've got the two folders ready to go. And on the right hand side, we've navigated to the base installation directory of OpenCart. You can tell it's the base installation directory because it's got the admin, the catalog, the download, these files right here. This is where we need to start. So if you're not here, you need to navigate and find your way. Generally, it is under public HTML. Uh, ours is slightly different, we've got it in a different location, but this is under public HTML normally. So once we're here, there's now two different methods for uploading uh, your theme or template depending on how the theme creator has actually packaged up their theme. So we're going to cover both. We'll go through the more difficult installation right now with the Flower Power theme. The Flower Power theme comes in its own folder that needs to be dropped into the theme directory of OpenCart. How do we find the theme directory? Okay, on the right hand side, catalog, view, theme. As you can see, we've got the default theme installed, which is there. There's some minor modifications here because we've been getting it ready for the Flower Power theme, but uh, that's basically what it looks like. So the way this theme is packaged is we need to drop this folder into the theme directory. So we'll do that depending on your internet connection and what might probably take from 30 seconds to 2 minutes to upload the files. We'll just let it go now. Won't take very long. You'll notice that the, the, the folder we are uploading actually contains all the required files, the template, the style sheet, the images, just like the, uh, the default template. Okay, we're almost done. See the files being uploaded. All right, we're all done. So basically now we have the template uploaded onto our server. 
The next step is we need to go to the admin panel of our OpenCard installation. We log in. Now we need to configure the system to start using that template. So there we go, system, settings. We've only got one store installed on this platform, so we're just gonna edit that. The store tab. Now you can see the template has a drop down box. By default, it's obviously set to default. We want to choose Flower Power. You'll notice that no image appeared here. That's not a problem. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing going on there. All it is is that the author has not provided a preview snapshot. So Flower Power, we click Save. We can refresh our store. And there you go. The theme's installed, ready to go. That's the more difficult of the installation methods, uh, just due to the way the author has packaged their product. If we just look at the, uh, the other common way a template is packaged, and we go with the ProShop 2, it comes with an upload directory. Generally what's going on here is that the author has actually packed all the required files into the right directories. You don't need to navigate through your OpenCard installation on the server here to find the theme directory and drop it in at the right place. The author has already put everything in the right place. Now a common question here is, is if I drag across these four files, will they overwrite anything on my server? And the answer is no, they won't. What they'll actually do is navigate their way on the server to the right locations and drop the files in there. So with a situation like this, we can literally just go copy them across. And as you can see here, as you can see here, it's just moving everything to the right locations. Uh, it's not overriding any of the system files or anything like that. It's just working its way through the server, dropping everything in the right location. It's the much simpler and easier way to install a, a template and uh, most authors are actually going down that path now. So that's it. That's still actually uh, copying across to the server, but if we did go into our store settings again, and we looked here in the drop down box, we're already starting to show the Pro Shop 2 theme being available. So that's it, that's how you install the OpenCart uh, template. Once again, we recommend the OpenCartMarket.com. Large selection of templates, demos, good prices from a variety of vendors from around the world. Okay, thank you very much.